Yeah, yeah, Malum. I mean, here we are again. It's, it's a great cliff. I mean, I've been I've been coming here now for 20 years, and it's given me so much in terms of roots. I mean, there's been no other crag that's given me so much. So it's a, it's a privilege to be here. Okay, again, Rob. I've done nearly all the routes here. Um, there's a couple of gaps that I've been working on, just a route I've been trying to do, which is super hard. Um, I'm not sure I'll ever get up it, but it's not really about the ticking of the chains, it's just about the journey. So it keeps me busy anyway. Well, last year when I climbed Batman, which is a link up Bat Roof, into this amazing headwall, it felt like it pushed me right to the limit. It was a, you know, a really sustained section of climbing. There was like no rests. You know, really it took me right to where I wanted to go. Like it felt like it was just out of reach, but then it just came into reach just at the last minute, right on almost the last day. So it was perfect. So I almost wanted something a little bit harder. So this thing I'm trying at the moment is harder. It feels like it's a step too far. Certainly this year, it's kind of spanked me a bit. Conditions have been against me and my fitness isn't as good as it should be. It's out of reach, but in a way that motivates me to go in and try and get better without this kind of thing. You know, what, what keeps you going? You know, what will drive me to, to hang on those little bits of wood down the ground works? You know, why would I bother when I've got something which is going to make me get better than it, you know, something to get out of bed for? Yeah, I mean, I think people definitely associate me with this crag, which is maybe not <laughs> quite right, because I've, I've climbed in so many different places. <sighs> Spent a lot of time climbing at Ravensaw and at Kilnsey, and then I was abroad for ages. It, it's of late that I've spent quite a bit of time here. I think it's because it sums up what I want from climbing. I've kind of moved on from just trying hard, desperate things, because I want to do something hard and desperate. I kind of want more out of the journey. It's almost like when I think I can do something, it loses its appeal. I almost like it to be out of reach. So when it's just out of reach, that really appeals to me. When I feel like I can do it, I kind of lose my sight for it. So the routes I'm trying here are just that little bit too hard. Maybe they're too hard, doesn't really matter. As a member of the BMC, you do get a voice, which is crucial really. If you're passionate about a certain area, then you can have a say in how it is organised and how things are run, and that, that's really important. For me, the, the BMC really represents the freedom in the outdoors. Like one of the main things about the BMC that I really respect is the fact that they look after the access issues. This is a massive part of climbing, which I don't think many of us really appreciate that it's not our right to come and climb here. You know, it's, it's a privilege. Without them, we'd lose a lot of places. It, it is just about trying to get the message across that it's not an old fashioned organisation. It is really about all climbers right across the whole age spectrum. That's, that's the key thing really.